What's up everybody, it's me Pig from Judge Day Fitness and today I'm going to do something for you guys really special. I'm going to give you guys five style tips and tricks to make yourself look more muscular, okay? So it's one thing to actually be muscular, to actually work out, to start gaining weight, you know, making those improvements in yourself, but it's another thing to actually have that be seen. Let's be honest here, I started doing this for girls, I wanted them to see that I was making some gains, I wasn't always dressing right, so they never noticed and that made me a little sad. Oh well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys five style tips and tricks so that you won't have to make the same mistakes that I did. Okay? So with that being said, let's get started in this video. But first, just a quick little plug. I do customized workout programs, $25 per. $5 per person will be given to you if you successfully refer someone to me. Uh, also, Instagram, Twitter, in the description below, along my email if you'd like to get in contact with me regarding a customized workout program. And with that being said, let's get started on this video. All right, so the first thing you have to do is make sure that your clothes are form-fitting. And a lot of YouTubers say that. I'm sure you've seen other videos about this topic before. And they all say, oh, make sure it's form-fitting. But they're not very specific, okay? So you want it to be tight-ish, all right? Tight-ish in your chest and back area, like upper back, upper chest area. And you want it to be tight in the shoulder and bicep, tricep area as well, okay? Now, if it's tight in your stomach and you can see your ab crevices and stuff, that is just a little too much and it's going to look like you're trying too hard. So you want to find a happy medium. This is also a medium shirt, so just thought I'd put that out there. You want to find a happy medium to where it doesn't look like you're showing off, but it doesn't look like you're, you know, trying to hide anything either. And that is the happy medium I have found with this shirt right here and a few others that I have, which I can, I can do a change every time I bring up a new point. Anyways, that is what you want for the shirt. You want you don't want it to be too tight. You also want to make sure that when you bend down, uh, that it doesn't come up and give you like that plumber's crack look, you know. And if you stretch up and reach for something, you're not going to see your abdominal area. Uh, so if you want to see someone's abdominal area, they need to take off the shirt. Okay. If they if that happens without taking off the shirt, then the shirt is too tight. All right. So just keep that in mind. Right, so with shorts, I have a few rules as well. We gotta cover the lower body as well, guys. We can't skip leg day, we can't skip the lower body portion of this video. So, with your shorts, all right, uh, the cut should be just like a little bit above the knee. They say like one, two, three inches above the knee is a good style right now, and that's also a good idea. It'll help you show off your quads a little bit. Uh, and you know what, with the calves, you just gotta embrace it. If you got small calves like I do, I'm trying my best here, making a little progress, but it's just, coming along, okay? Uh, so anyways, um, I don't want my shorts to be too tight as well. Uh, I wanna have a little bit of room to the point where it's not baggy like cargo shorts. You gotta, again, you gotta throw them out, okay? No more cargo shorts unless it's for work, okay? So I want a little bit of room just in case my legs keep growing because I'm coming back from a knee injury and have a lot more muscle in my legs to gain. Uh, but I also wanna make sure it's to the point where, like, the, around the waist, um, I want to make sure that it's very form-fitting there to the point where if I forgot to wear a belt or I didn't wear a belt, then I would not have any issues with my pants falling down, okay? So those are my rules for shorts. Follow them. All right, so the second thing I got for you guys, make sure the sleeves are not too long. Now, what is too long? My personal opinion is that when it goes past the halfway point of the bicep tricep area, it is way too long, all right? Now, if it's long sleeves, that's a different story. We get cold sometimes. Actually, I'm from Florida, so I don't get cold very often because uh, there's never any cold weather down here. But anyways, uh, don't let it go past that with your t-shirts, okay? Don't let it go past the bicep, tricep area. Um, definitely don't let it cover the entire half of the arm, but don't let it go past the halfway point of the bicep, tricep area. Now, in terms of shorts, right now, the best point to have your shorts at is just like one or two inches, maybe three inches above the knee. Uh, and if you want to go halfway, you know, that's your style. That's up to you. But... If you have like a, a shirt on top of that, it looks kind of looks kind of feminine, let's be honest here. Uh, but it's up to you guys. You're entitled to your own style. So try and keep the shorts a few inches above the knee. Don't let the sleeves of these t-shirts go past the halfway point of your bicep and tricep area. Whoa, where'd my shirt go? That's not cool. I'm kidding you guys. It did that on purpose. So anyways, my third point for you guys is to accessorize. By accessorize, I'm referring to this necklace, watch, and bracelet. Now, I'm talking about this because your wrist... And your, this area right here is a weak point. So the bracelet and the watch, they draw attention away from the weak points, okay? And by weak point, I mean like I can't make my wrist get any bigger than this. It's going to take a lot of muscle building in my forearm to make my wrist look a, a little bit bigger than this. And even then, it's not going to do that much. So my wrists are always going to be skinny. I got tiny hands anyways. Uh, my wrists are always going to be skinny, and I can't really do anything about that because it's a joint. It's not a muscle. It's not going to grow. So the bracelet takes attention away from it. So does the watch. 
Now, this area right here as well, your collarbones, can't really add too much right here. I can build my upper chest as much as I want, but there is still a little bit of uh, a gap, I guess, right here. So I can either cover in tattoos, which I'm not gonna do that, or I can get a necklace and draw attention away from it. So that's what these are. Uh, you know, the watch is also useful for keeping time. And these are good for fashion anyways, but it's a good attention diverter from the weak points that you have on your body. All right, so the fourth thing I got for you guys, in terms of long clothes, long sleeves, long pants, uh, just same rules apply, go for form-fitting stuff, but not too form-fitting to the point where it's limiting your mobility or looking like you're trying too hard. For example, this right here doesn't look like I'm trying too hard. I hope at least it's an athletic shirt that I wear to the gym sometimes, and it's very form-fitting around the chest and the biceps right here, so it does. You can see that I have a little bit of muscle, all right? You can see a little bit, and that's exactly what I want. So, get a shirt like this. It's from Under Armour, really good. And you're just gonna have to accept the fact that you're just not 100% of the time gonna look like you work out, okay? You can work out as much as you want, but sometimes you gotta put on a jacket, sometimes you gotta put on a hoodie, sometimes you gotta put on a work uniform that's not the most form-fitting and flattering to you. It happens. So, uh, again, sometimes you have to, sometimes you can work with it, sometimes you can't. In this case, in this shirt right here, I can work with it. But not every shirt is the case. All right, now, fifth thing I got for you guys, dress in athleisure, okay? Now, it's completely optional because I would not wear this to, I don't know, let's say a friend's wedding, uh, just to make sure they know that I'm working out and stuff. But uh, dressing in athleisure at least implies that you work out and gives people that vibe that, hey, this guy hits the gym, this guy's dedicated, this guy has the clothes for it, so he probably does. So, for example, you're wearing, like, Nike jackets, um, you know, Alpha Elite, Gymshark, all that, yada, yada, you know? Uh, this right here, this is a shirt from Total Nutrition. Um, it's a company down here. They give out free shirts when you get a supplement from them, so I got a supplement from them. Anyways, uh, it implies that I visit the nutrition, the Total Nutrition store every once in a while, and it just gives people that vibe. Now, if I wore Alpha Elite, Gymshark, uh, Nike, sporty clothes like that, then that would also give that implication off. Uh, you can also wear track suits. I know those are trending. Personally, I think they're corny. I think they're hideous but it is your personal style. You're welcome to uh, try and change my mind in the comment section down below, but my opinion is pretty much set in stone right there. So do with that information what you will. So with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously appreciate you guys clicking on the video or in other cases, letting the autoplay run into this video. Either way, you're here, I appreciate it. And I hope you guys subscribe, like, and comment and get ready for more videos to come because I'm posting every single Wednesday and Saturday unless something comes up, but I'm doing my best here. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys next time.